All right, guys, here is my tester. The hardware is here. I got it up and working. And if you need to get it up still, there's a link to some other videos where I installed the software and get it working. So I've broken it into a couple videos. Today, we're gonna do the vehicle handover. My name is Aaron and this is Help Me DIY. Welcome to another video. If you are into cool Porsche content and you'd like to learn more how to save some money and do things yourself, this is the right place. Subscribe to the channel, click the little bell notification so you don't miss anything. So just a little overview of why you might need to do this. Uh, the battery, if it dies and drains out, then you might have noticed a couple things going on in your car. The first thing that uh, happens is once it notices the battery is getting low, it starts shutting off some items to help try to preserve itself. And unfortunately, once it shuts them off, your vehicle doesn't think it has them anymore until you do a vehicle handover. So the heated seats stopped working when you press the buttons, nothing happened. The home link up here stopped working. When you press those buttons, the little flashing light doesn't do anything. And there are a few other things that they say uh, that can get shut off on you when this happens. All right, I've been Googling to figure out how to do the uh, vehicle handover and I found nothing online. So I have no idea where it is in any of this stuff. Um, but I am going to click on PCM and then hit F12 to continue with that. So I'm just gonna poke around for a little bit and explore and try to figure it out. And it's asking me if I wanna create a VAL, which is a vehicle analysis log, I believe is what that is. So, sure. It's just gonna save a file to the uh, VM somewhere. <laughs> I just noticed this changed to service. So I guess the car knows that I'm talking to it. Switch ignition on, check. Yes, that's already done. It's querying data. Ooh, I think I found it. I wanna take you along for the ride. So F7 down here, additional menu. We have vehicle handover. Uh, select a test and press F12. Next, oh gosh, fingers crossed, I'm nervous. Well, please be it. All right, it looks like it's going through the same steps, some of them we did when we uh, did the logs. Remove transport protection. That sounds promising. Check, 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 checks. Checks are good. Back in service. I got some ding dinging. Transport successfully removed. Okay, some crazy file not found. I don't know if it's waiting on me, but I'll click next. So it didn't wake up the PCM system, maybe? Move top speed limit, hey, hey. Uh, end with F12, all right. F12 again. F12 again. F12. Is this a new vehicle? Oh. Um, no. Chassis number is correct. F12, F12. Switch to log management by pressing S12. Return to functions for all vehicles by pressing F11. Um, I don't know, log management. Ah, okay, now we have a vehicle handover log. Print preview, hit F10 to print this thing. Oh, look at that. A lot of uh, interesting information that I will look at later. But now my 
big question is, did that fix stuff? <laughs> Heated seats. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, these things? Yes! Ah, home link working again. Oh, it's so cold out today, and this seat feels nice and warm. All right, guys, we got vehicle handover working. That is so awesome. I am super excited to have my functions working again. So if you guys need this, go out and get yourself one of these little cool PIWIS guys, or come on over if you're in the Greensboro area, I'll hook you up real quick. It's uh, super simple to do. If there are other things you wanna learn how to do with this thing, hit me up in the comments below because I'm gonna start messing around with it and I'll make some more videos once I learn some cool things to do with it. But. Thanks for watching, guys. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, get a lot of cool Porsche content, and I'll see you on the next video.